What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode 2. If you have no idea what this series is about, then check the link in the top right. In that video, we go through what the series is going to be about, and as our first topic, we cover NFC. Today's video, as you probably already guessed by reading the title, is all about MQTT. MQTT, or as it's known by its full name, Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. What is it? It's a simple and lightweight messaging protocol that makes use of a publish and subscribe system. It's heavily used in IoT projects and has a very low bandwidth usage. The messages that this protocol can send could be things like commands or information about a device. So the command could be a command that will allow you to control a device or the information could be say a sensor just sharing its information. A couple of the concepts that we're gonna cover in this video are the client, the broker, publish and subscribe, messages and topics. First up then we have the MQTT client and this can be any kind of device that is capable of running the small amount of code needed for the MQTT library. A client isn't constrained though to one of these smaller devices like the microcontroller or a single board computer. It can be something like a full-fledged server or another machine. We then have the broker which is the counterpart to the client. The broker is the core part of the MQTT protocol and depending on the implementation of this, this can handle millions of concurrent connected clients. The broker is responsible for receiving all messages. These messages are then filtered and dished out to all clients that are subscribed to that message. Now we know a small bit about the concepts, let's have a look at this example and learn some more details. So in this example, we've got client one and client two. Client one is a microcontroller, let's just say it's an Arduino and it's got a temperature sensor attached to it. Client two is the laptop. A client can be a publisher, a subscriber, or both. In the above example, our client one is the publisher and our client two is the subscriber. In MQTT, the way that we route things that are being published and register an interest on messages being received is by using topics. So client one is doing a publish, it's actually passing its information on, and client two is doing a subscribe, and what this means is it's registering its interest in a particular message when it becomes available. And while we're on the topic of subscribers, if you haven't already, press that subscribe button. And if you press the little notification bell, you'll be alerted to whenever I bring out a new video. We're now just going to quickly talk about topics and then we're going to pull all of this together and the above example should start to make sense. In MQTT, a topic is the way that you register interest for an incoming message. It's also the way that you specify where you want to publish a particular message. Topics are denoted by a string followed by a forward slash. In the above example, we can see that our topic is sensor forward slash temp. Each of these forward slashes represents a different topic level. So in our example, we can see that our top level is sensor and our second level down is temp. Another thing to note is topics are case sensitive. So you could have two topics with the same names, but one using uppercase and one using lowercase. So I briefly touched on this at the beginning, but coming back around to it, messages are the main thing that MQTT does and these messages are the bits of information that get shared and exchanged between all of your devices. And these bits of information could be things like commands or just bits of data that are getting shared. We now know a little bit about each of the concepts that I mentioned at the beginning. If we take a look at this example now, we should be able to identify what's going on. We have our client one here. At the beginning, we said that this was an Arduino with a temperature sensor. And from the example, we can see that it's a publisher and it's publishing a message with the topic sensor slash temp. So in this example, we could say that the temperature sensor is just reporting its current temperature. So client one is passing its message with the topic sensor slash temp to the broker. And if we have a look at the other side, client two is the laptop here. And from the example, we can see that client two is a subscriber and it's subscribed to the topic sensor slash temp. So client one has published its message with a topic. Client two has subscribed to a message with a topic. Now the message is in the broker and the broker is going to look at the message and see the topic and it's going to say, hey, does anyone want this message with topic sensor slash temp? And then it's going to look at all of its subscribers and anyone that subscribed to that particular topic will receive that message. Here's another look at that example, but with some different imagery and more clients connected. So the back and forth arrow there signifies that it's a publisher and a subscriber. We can see at the top here, our Raspberry Pi, is now our MQTT broker. There's a few different implementations of the MQTT broker and two of the most popular ones are Mosquito and HiveMQ. So for a real use case within our own smart home, 
we could have our Raspberry Pi running the Mosquito Broker. Our clients here then would publish and subscribe to topics. And if we used our example from before, where we've got the Arduino, the Arduino would publish information about its temperature to the broker. The broker running on Home Assistant would receive this message. Then there'd be a client part of Home Assistant and that client would receive that message. And then you'd be able to display that temperature information on your main dashboard or include it in an automation or something. If that doesn't make sense, then don't worry. I've actually got a video coming out where I'll be showing you how to do this in Home Assistant. So that's been a very simple and high level look at MQTT. I hope that by watching this, you now have a little bit of an understanding for MQTT. So if you were now asked, what is it? You'd be able to answer or, you know, you've at least got the gist of what it is. Either that or you're now just super confused. <laughs> As I said, this was just a simple look at MQTT. It was designed for beginners that knew nothing about it. There's plenty of other things to learn about MQTT, like the uh, broker responses, the connect types, and much, much more. If you found this topic interesting and want to know more about MQTT, be sure to subscribe to my channel. In the near future, I've got some really cool MQTT projects coming out. So if you're interested, make sure you press that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll be alerted whenever those come out. And that's it for the second episode of if you've enjoyed the episode, then drop me a like. If there's a bit of tech or some smart home terminology or software or anything like that that you want to know about, then leave me a comment below explaining what it is and the next episode could potentially be based on your comment. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.